sponsored by Lion's French Sandwich. All right, um, Helen challenged on 23, Daniel champion on 24, so let's get straight on with it. Helen, off you go. Okay, I'll start with a consonant, please, Carol. Thank you. Z. Oh, thank you. Uh, a vowel now, please. E. And another consonant. Consonant. R. Another consonant. T. Another vowel. A. Another vowel. The vowel. Which is O. A consonant. S. A consonant. D. Um, and another vowel. And I. OK. Round five starts its merry way. Here we go. Eight. <laughs> right. Um, Helen's eight. Asteroid. Daniel? An asteroid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, all those eight points go on, so we get 32 and 31. Well done, everybody. And it's Daniel's letters, please. Consonant, please. F. And another. Q. And another one, please. S. A vowel. E. Another vowel. A. And another vowel. E. Consonant. R. Consonant. H. And another consonant, please. And P. And that's it. In the line, 30 seconds, of course, for time. You, Helen? Seven. Right. Six dead there, Dan. Phrase. That's a PH. P H R A S E. Yes, phrase. No, seven. Reshape. Reshape. Yeah. Reshape is fine. Yeah. Yes, that's great. Always a bit of anxious moment with a re. Mm. A re really? word is obviously, as you no, know, it's but fine reshape. Yeah, yes. good. And that's it, team. That's it. Yes. Good. That's well, good. Doubly well done, Helen. You've beaten the panel there. At least I haven't beaten you. So, 38 and 32. Three rounds to go. Helen, four letters, please. Consonant, please. Thank you. L. And another. C. A vowel. U. Vowel again. E. And a consonant. T. Vowel. A. A consonant. F. Uh, a, another consonant. R. And another consonant. And another one, thank you. And D. Good. Here we go on uh, the last round. Seven. Well, seven, good. Daniel? Seven. Daniel, seven. Crafted. 
yet crafted uh, seven Helens. Faulted. And faulted. Faulted. That's fine, yes. Mm. Yeah, well, that's okay for us. What can you offer us? Well, once again, Anna's come up with a word I've never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> the word facated. F U R C A T E D, which means forked or branched. To form a fork or to divide. Okay. Fercated. Fercated. Well, that was an eight. An eight. Yeah. Um, so we're over. Anyway, we're over here. We're over with the letters. So it's 39 and 45. So 20 points available still to be won. And Daniel, see if you can do anything with the numbers. Can I have an inverted inverted T, please. So three from, three the, from the top. top and three <laughs> down the middle. A T then. Yes. <laughs> okay. The numbers then, I've done it right, are 6 and 8, 10, 25, 75 and 100, leaving the 50 still on the top row. And the target's low again, 179. Oh, yeah. Well, 179, another low target. Here we go, 179. Um, Daniel? 179. Yeah, and Helen? 179. Okay. Um, do you want to have a bash, Daniel? I know it's been taxing you for the last 30 seconds as well. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minus 6 is 4. Yes. Plus 75, plus 100. Yeah, absolutely, 179. Yeah, yeah. And you, Helen? I said uh, 10 minus 8 is 2, 6 minus that 2 is 4, add it to the 75, add it to the 100. <laughs> So one more process, but it's still correct, yes. Uh, I said... <laughs> Carol, I said 100 plus 75. Yeah. Right, and 10, that's 175. 10 minus 6 is 4. Yeah. So that is on. Well, you mean you did it the same way as Daniel? Oh, is that the way he did it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you were standing in the way, I couldn't see. <laughs> okay, well, we all got prizes there, didn't we? Uh, some more deserved than others. 55 and 49, another crucial conundrum. So this is what we love, don't we? Rub our hands together with expectancy at this. So if you're both ready for this, Helen and Daniel, please now reveal today's crucial countdown conundrum. And the bell, and it's Daniel's say. Purchased. Purchased. Well, see what you bought yourself with that. Yes. Right. Oh. Well, I tell you, we've had three crucial conundrums in the last three programmes, and these are a lot good for the old ticker here, and the blood pressure, because they've been got within split seconds. And so while I'm delighted for the winner, I always feel terrible for the loser. So, Helen, I'm really sorry. Well, he was quick different. on the last one. Well, he is quick. Yeah, he well, yeah. he's, he's, he's a young He's <laughs> got a young brain. Yes, sir. <laughs> Anyway, a great performance from you, and I'm sure I hope that you've uh, really enjoyed your, your day I with have, us. Thank so you. Thanks very much indeed. And the goodie bag, and all our best wishes to Helen Ross. <laughs> I'm so excited to talk to you, Helen. I haven't applauded Daniel, so Daniel has been your champion for the second time. Let's hear it for Daniel. Well done, Daniel. <laughs> Well, I sort of rather cynically said it's a young man's game. We've got another young man tomorrow. He's 18, so he's a little older. It's uh, Chris Smith from Gummersling, West Yorkshire. So, hi, Chris. That'll be a good game tomorrow, eh? Um, I hope so. Between you two lads, that'll be, that'll be great. So, did you get that conundrum? Uh, no. Well, he didn't so, yeah. have much time, did you, really? But, uh, yeah. and, uh, anyway, so we look forward to seeing Chris uh, and uh, Daniel uh, tomorrow. But meanwhile, a nifty, nifty shirt you two have, old Rick and, uh, and Daniel. Nice shirt Daniel, wear. Oh, yeah, <laughs> half a shirt, half a shirt. The one half is interesting. Well, the other I can't half. afford to have the other half painted. <laughs> yes. Okay, farewell, farewell. It's a dictionary corner, goodbye. And so the board at the board, goodbye. Goodbye. And from me, goodbye. <laughs>
Coming up in a moment or two, some truly amazing tales of survival on the Montel Williams Show. Cakes. 